dancing. So the Sufis have Hadra, which my mashaykh in Syria, they perform Hadra. Within the Hanafi school, what is the position on music other than the Duff drum? So the some of the ulama, they took a position, a lenient view on music, like Abdul Ghani and Nablusi, Rahimallah, the Damasim scholar mm -hmm. from 400 years ago. While other ulama, they took a strict position. So uh, the likes of Al-Imam Ibrahim Al-Halabi, the author of Multaq al he wrote a book, Al-Naqsu wal waqsu li mustahil al raqs mentioning the prohibition of musical instruments and raqs. Mm -hmm. To the point that even within the Shafi'i school, there, there are divergent views. So you have like Al -Ibn, uh, Al Imam Ibn Hajar al Haytami al Makki, he has a famous work, Kaf al Ru'a, on uh, prohibition of musical instruments. But then Al Imam Abu Hamid al Ghazali rahimullah, took a lenient view like Abdul Ghani al Nablusi. Rahimullah. The correct view, in my point from uh, from how I from my reading on this subject mm -hmm. would be more of a middle stance which is that is that firstly the doff is permitted and then there are those instruments alat which are clearly prohibited in the sunnah like they would be like mu uh, string instruments for instance guitars violins yes string instruments are one harp these type of instruments okay now a Sayyid Alawi al-Maliki rahimullah in his fatawa, he states that due to saddu dhari'ah, now this word saddu dhari'ah means barring the means, it's a great source of law for the Maliki school. So for instance, Al-Imam Malik rahimullah, he prohibited grapes, uh, people from growing grapes because he knew the grapes were being utilized for wine. For wine. So it's sometimes this law saddu dhari'ah applies to permissible things. A Sayyid Alawi states we should apply saddu dhari'ah to many of the musical instruments because it leads to the haram type of music. What is haram bil ijma? Uh, music which has lyrics which are uh, impermissible. Music uh, which is accompanied with alcohol. This is all impermissible by ijma. So foul, vulgarity, sexual lewdness, uh, the promotion of fahsha and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, and if it's associated with drinking and drugs, this type of music is totally prohibited by ijma. What if it's associated with love? So then... That used to be a flex a thousand years ago. Poetry and singing about women and the love for women is something that uh, transcends all civilizations. Yes, so, so the the ulama, the ulama they would teach books of literature, Arabic literature, where uh, love of women is mentioned. Uh, works like Diwan al Mutanabbi, Maqamat al Hariri, all these uh, classical Arabic literature they have. Uh, but those books of poetry even contain vulgarity also. But they would teach it for a purpose, which was literature, in order to excel in language. So, uh, in today's day and age, if someone uh, read a book of classical literature which does contain vulgarity it would not be totally prohibited depending on the purpose of reading the book but uh, saddu dhari'ah is applied to those music that type of music which is totally haram in the sharia then within the middle we have the gray area now ibn hazm ibn hazm he took a divergent opinion uh, there is, uh, there's another alim also, uh, a Maqdasi alim, who the author of uh, uh, the book on Shurut uh, al-Aimmati Sitta, which is a book on conditions of the six scholars of Hadith. They took a divergent opinion, but which was totally permitting all musical instruments also, to the extent that Ibn Hazm attempted to weaken a Hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. And then... Uh, Al-Imam Ibn Salah, rahimullah, the author of the Muqaddimah of mm -hmm. Ibn Salah, he condemns Ibn Hazm for this. So that would be a, a shad opinion, an anomalous opinion. So Saddu Dhari applies to most music. Then we have certain instruments which are not declared haram totally by the Sharia, and it's a gray area. And then we also have the issue of Raqs, which is dancing. So the Sufis have Hadra, which my mashaykh in Syria, they perform Hadra. Al-Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti gave the fatwa permissibility of Hadra 
uh, other ulama also, Abdul Hayy al Katani and many other ulama, they permitted the hadra, which is doing dhikrullah with dancing, with the raqs. But there were other ulama who prohibited this. They said this is not permissible. So that would fall into the issues of khilaf. And when issues fall into issues of khilaf, you cannot declare the Muslims as being fasiq, as being transgressors. Zakhla khair for that Q&A, Sheikh.